Clover Hollow is located within Giles County, Virginia. This region is known for its prevalence of caves and sinkholes due to its karst terrain. Karst topography is formed by the dissolution of carbonate rocks such as dolostone and limestone, which are prevalent in the Ordovician age strata of the Clover Hollow area. I'm sitting in front of a large void in the limestone here in the Blacksburg area. Features like this are common because the local lithology here consists of very large units of limestone deposited in the Camber Ordovician. Detailed topographic maps of these areas show the surface expression of a karst landscape, including fracture traces and numerous sinkholes that give the landscape an almost lunar-like appearance. Sinkholes are a prominent hazard in karst topography. The process in which sinkholes form begins with the dissolution of carbonate rocks below the surface, the collapse of an already existent cave system, or the draining of an aquifer. Sinkholes form in carbonate bedrock for its homogeneous properties and thin residual mantle. They also form in areas closer to present fault locations and further from areas with surface streams. Thick clay and silt sediments are common in sinkholes and have a capacity to store and release large amounts of water over time, acting as slow or rapid sources of recharge for aquifers. Here we have a limestone outcrop. Uh, the texture and uh, smoothness of this rock is a characteristic of karst formations. Um, we can also see a fissure opening here. So this fissure used to be much smaller as you can see in the background right here. So what, this, what caused this fissure to widen was uh, rainwater dissolution. What this uh, widening also allows is more and more water to come in, which would allow for even more and more dissolution. So and essentially this is a positive feedback loop. As this map of karst geology in Virginia shows, karst is common throughout the Valley and Ridge province. Rocks in blue are different ages carbonate rock that are prone to forming karst landscapes and subterranean cave systems. What we have behind us is a key feature of karst topography. Sinkholes. Sinkholes form when caves in the carbonate rock, having been dissolved outward by water, collapse and form these depressions in the ground. Caves are areas of extreme sedimentary buildup, including clastic and chemical sediments. These sediments can be used to determine the climate of the local region where they were lain down. Recharge is important because that's where we get our water. So if you put a well into a car system, you take water out, uh, there needs to be some other water that fills in behind its place to make sure that there's enough available so that when you turn your pump on in your well that you actually have water. Drip records taken in the caves of the Clover Hollow area show that the caves go through hydrologic seasons including a one to six month dry period, a two to six month recharge period, and a three to five month recession period. Calcium concentration also varies seasonally with the recession period, having a high conductivity. The cars in the middle and upper Ordovician limestone has had extensive um, tracing tests performed. These tracer tests show two flow paths. The one flow path, which is more simple, the water um, moves parallel to strike to the springs along base level streams. The second one, which is a little more complex, um, follows the strike to a major cross fracture, which guides the water downward through the underlying dolomite to base level springs. The Clover Hollow Cars, which this cave is located in, its flow path may be a hybrid of these two different flow paths. An understanding of car systems and their aquifers is needed to help better plan water supply usage. These processes need to be evaluated to eventually be used throughout the Appalachian Mountains. The Clover Hollow area has several major caves within it. Each is a host to a unique ecosystem with distinct biodiversity, including several unique and rare invertebrate species. The New River area is a classic karst landscape. The local topography was generated over millions of years via the infiltration of groundwater and resulting dissolution of carbonate bedrock. This ongoing process has carved vast cave systems out of the underlying limestone and left the landscape pocketed by sinkholes. These features are visible at the surface across the New River Valley and are an important component of the local aquifer and subterranean ecosystems. If you are interested in learning more about caving, contact a local grotto through the NSS website, caves.org.